In this video, I'm going to go through a very similar example to the one in the previous video. A motorbike of mass 135 kilos is traveling along a straight horizontal road. It experiences resistances to its forward motion, totaling 120 newtons. Calculate the acceleration when the motorbike's engine is working at a rate of 3.4 kilowatts and is traveling at 16 meters per second. So, first of all, draw yourself a diagram so you can visualize all the forces acting on the motorbike. Now it has a mass of 135 kilos, so it has a weight of 135 G. There'll be a normal reaction force because it's in contact with the surface. There will be a driving force, and I'm going to take to the right as positive, and there are resistances to its forward motion totaling 120 newtons, so 120 newtons to the left. Okay. Now, we know that power is equal to the force times the velocity. So that will be equal to the force from the uh, engine, the driving force, times by the velocity. So in a lot of problems you're going to deal with, the power is equal to the driving force times the velocity at that time. Okay. Uh, so that's really one to remember. So what we have is the power, 3.4 kilowatts, so that's 3,400 watts, and that's going to be equal to d times the velocity, which is 16 meters per second. So the driving force is 3,400 divided by 16, which is 212.5. Okay, so that's Newton's. And now we're going to use Newton's second law, F equals MA. So resolving to the right, we have D, so 212.5. Take away the resistance, 120. It's going to be equal to the mass, 135, times by the acceleration, which is what we want to find. So, 212.5, take away the 120, and then divide by 135, we get 37 over 54 metres per second per second, uh, which is equal to 0 0.685 metres per second per second to three significant figures. So that is the acceleration that we wanted to find.